hello and welcome back to the channel and today's video we are going to see how you can implement a calculator that can be used for multiple purposes so as you can see on the screen that it's this plugin called WP authorization calculator and it could be used for multiple purposes and uh, we are going to use this one for one of my client website he has the financial services that he uh, delivered to others so for vehicles finance he wants this plugin so that people can understand how much will be the interest rent how much will be the down payment and everything and how much will be the time for this so as you can see in here like example this plugin already configured in here but i will show you from the beginning so this is the vehicle price rate the, like the exact pricing the interest rate 8.10 percent down payment 10 percent of the entire price and terms is 30 years it's not should be 13 years it could be like whatever you you want the client one so if i click submit there will be lots of details regarding this project uh, regarding this query so as you can see the original price down payment interest and terms so loan after down payment so after you pay 10 percent down payment this will remain the pricing down payment amount in uh, the total monthly how much you have to pay monthly and how many payments you have to pay the make the balance clear for 60 time so there are lots of details in here as well as you can see and if i go down below i will see how much i have to pay the payment how much the payment number payment amount a particular price and interest total interest and the balance so this will make the customer happy to see how much it will cost and everything so as you can see in here this is the different pricing size uh, sign that could be rand so the south african price of this uh, calculator so the client basically based from south africa so that's why this is uh, this program uh, this pricing in here so for guideline you can see in here in the i button the total price of the vehicles you wish to buy and all other information in here so currently we purchased this plugin from code canyon if you want to use this plugin i will put the link in the description you can check that and now I'm going to put this plugin. I already did in here. So I already upload into the local host. And I'm going to click on this. And now if I say I want to change it, the name of on the top, as you can see, it's called Vehicles Finance. So I'm just going to copy this to make sure this will look the same. Vehicles Finance. I don't need the email text or I don't want customer need the email text and as you can see this is the mortgage amount so the mortgage amount is here so the vehicles amount should be so I'm just going to copy this in here or I should copy from here and paste it and the total purchase that you used to buy so it should be the vehicles the vehicles price that he wants to buy and the pricing so it could be the uh, option that you can put the amount so this could be the different amount and interest rate in here so the interest rate uh, it, it should be vehicles in here as well because we're trading for vehicles So as one well now, the interest rate 8.01, and now the down payments. It's coming here. The down payments is also home showing home, but it should be the vehicles. 
the down payment percentage could be in here 10 percent you have to pay the 10 percent in here and also it should take sometimes okay so it will show you the years of month as you can see you can go with the months where you want to go with the terms of the years you can do that and uh, all the way down in here you can see in here the pricing side the currency symbol so i'm just going to put the r sign so r sign stand for rand and the uh, details in here so it should be like as you can see it will be pop up in here but okay i'm just putting a few information okay then submit so as you can see the result will be pop up but it has option you can show them as a pop up or it will be below in here when someone submitted it will be below in here so this one is looks cool to me better than the down below on the pop up so uh, down below in here so if i do that it will be more option in here so if in pop up it looks better anyone will understand how to close it they can exit anywhere in between the screen and it will be fine so if you want to put any background image or anything in here such as logo you can upload the upload it from the back end i don't have anything in here now to the local host so that's why it's not and as you can see submit and reset button in here submit and reset this will be default you can change it by any text that you want and if you want to customize more this as a, uh, as other things so it could be you can customize with css and javascript one more thing is that you can see in here you can you can manually put it and there is an option into the website that it could be a sliding option slider like uh, it should be a slider there is this so if you put this slider it will be a slider you have to move left to right to adjust the payment and everything but it's better to have you can put it as like the client one so he wants to uh, wants people to put that in by manually rather than drag left and right so we choose everything same and I'm just going to save changes okay so now I'm going to the home page of the website so as you can see in the home page it's blank so I'm just going to click on edit and the uh, good thing is about this plugin this plugin also comes with the Elementor widget so all I have to do I just search WP so as you can see WP authorized calculator as like this one and this one as well so this is this is automatically generated but this is the pre-built one so I'm just dragging and dropping in here and automatically it just pull up this information I don't have to override or anything in here uh, with, the, with the coding of it so I'm just going to make it save changes and if I click on preview changes to see the actual site and now if, if I click in here to submit it's just going down below in here as like we have in here if I go down below so you can see this is showing just down below of it so now I'm just making sure that I don't want it down below it should be the pop-up that will make more sense so I'm just going to refresh it and if I submit that's cool it's give me all of those details so some regions you will see uh, there is an option there will nothing in here it, it will say like nil 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 there will be nothing like that so original amount down payments uh, interest and terms so if you are using first time of this you, you will be confused by that so all you have to do to go there if you see nil like everything will show nil then all you have to do okay let me show you how it looks it was confusing for me as well so if i show you from the support ticket when I start uh, put it for the first time 
so it will look like this when you first configure it they will show the nil 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 everything will show nil not like this one so all you have to do you have to go to report and settings email settings go all the way down and click save changes then it will look same like as you can see in here other than that everything is fine so if you want to change the currency based on any currency you just come right here as a currency symbol and put whatever you want in my case if i want to put my currency it will be the bdt currency and if i go and click save changes and go back to the website and refresh it if i refresh it you can see my currency is here and if i click submit you will see my local currency in the top uh, beginning of the amount so i can easily see that how it's work and how it looks so as per you want the other currency you can put over there and it will be good for you if you have these issues just go to the save and settings report and settings and just click save changes it will be automatically uh, fill up the information and if you want the email query uh, email entry so if someone wants you their email all of those information on their email just go there and save changes let's see i didn't check that thing so it will not be it will be an issue maybe okay so if you want that let me know like enabling email to user at their email address will work if its email reporting is selected so if you want to see that let me know in the comment section and this is it for the video if you have any question feel free to put into the comment section and if you like the video i appreciate you will smash the like button and subscribe the channel and turn on the notification for a future update till then be safe take care bye bye